unfortunately, it's not looking good for my guy. It's not looking good for Slime. It's not looking good for a young fuck. It really isn't looking good for him. And if you're wondering, what's going on, Agostino? It's this news here. It's this news here, courtesy of Michael Sidon on Twitter. This is really concerning news. So if you're a fan of Young Fug, if you're a fan of um, YSL, you'll be really upset to hear this news. But it's no surprise, really, when you see some of the stuff that's been left on social media. It says, YSL defense attorney, YF, YSL defense attorney Nicole Fegan is arrested on gang charges. Atlanta police have confirmed. So one of the lawyers involved in defending YSL, right, in making sure that King Slime gets out in some sort of like normal time and doesn't get flipping football numbers in terms of a prison sentence, which is most likely he's going to get, right? If you've been following the case, you would have known that, you know, the evidence against him, the evidence against YSL is just, you know, it's hard to ignore really you can't really you can't really see a scenario where he doesn't get some level of prison time it's just about how much he's going to get especially with the time served of him actually being in jail this whole time um with actually you know sitting down i guess in prison this whole time before the actual um you know sentence is kind of doled out but now that you know various people within his actual legal team are getting knocked down with these legitimate legitimate gang charges it's looking really really dicey for my boy young fuck so let's look through the tweets and see what the actual case is so it says in 2022 apd was investigating a double shooting on the north si northwest side of the city and the police learned that fegan had contacted the suspect in the shooting warning him about the active warrants on his arrest <laughs> oh this is this is not something a lawyer should do i don't think so right <laughs> fegan provided information that she learned during the preliminary hearing related to the shooting and advised the suspect to dispose of the phone as police were going to arrest him she was not representing him at the time jesus christos fegan is charged in participation in criminal street gang activity criminal solicitation to commit the offense of tampering with evidence apd has confirmed that fegan was arrested in gwyneth county transported to fulton county and we're working on getting warrants but the hack is presenting a bit of a challenge the apd released the information from the incident she is charged as you can see there um preliminary information Officers responded to two male gunshot wounds hospital in private vehicle. Upon arrival, officers located two victims who sustained gunshot wounds. One victim was alert, unconscious and breathing, and second victim was in critical but stable condition. Preliminary investigations indicate that the incident originally occurred near Baker Street, where the victims were engaged in an exchange of gunfire with the suspects. Investigators responded to the scene and determined the circumstances around the incident and the investigation continued. And the investigation continued sorry. Please keep in mind the above information is preliminary in the nature and can change. Atlanta Police Homicide have notified that one of the victims to come to his injuries. This case has now been changed to aggravated assault to a homicide. Um, Keontae Davis was taken into custody by the Atlanta Zone 2 officers to aggravated assault on a murder. Jesus Christ. I spoke with a defense attorney in Fulton County and they told me that the earliest vegan could face a judge could be tomorrow, which means that she'll be spending an evening in Rice Street. We're learning more details as we continue. This person for the jail confirmed that Nicole Fegan has been booked. The hack is preventing us from getting a mugshot. Defense attorney Renee Rockwell has confirmed that Nicole Fegan has a 40k bond and could be released from jail at some point tonight. She added that she's innocent of all allegations against her. <laughs> oh my god, man. Honestly, it's not looking good for Fug, man. I'm just I just I'm just confused. Maybe there is some like logic to it. Maybe there's some like street logic to it, right? If you get somebody in your defense team who has some sort of street smarts about them, is associated with the streets, even if they have a, you know, a license to practice law, I guess, in some regards, and maybe they they're somewhat legit. Maybe the idea is around it is that if you have an actual criminal, um, you know, who hangs around other criminals as you, well, your defense attorney, maybe they have a better chance of getting you off the charges because they understand, you know, some of the gray areas around laws and whatnot, who knows? But I don't know if that's me and I'm being charged what, what young folks being charged of. I just don't want there to be anything else that could implicate or affect my, you know, my case really, because I've already done enough, you know, I've, he, like allegedly he's already done enough himself and as such as the gang. So you don't want anything else on top of it to make it worse. 
So why would you knowingly or willingly um, have somebody represent you that might have some street ties? It doesn't make any sense, really. It seems a bit backwards, you know? Um, exactly. It's on, it's on some better call soul shit, this is. So I don't really know why I'm going here, but it kind of feels like an odd appointment, you know, to have this lady involved because she seems like she is somewhat tied to the streets. And if you're thinking, I guess, you know, you're flipping... You're on the mad one. She's not tied to the street. She's just some little white girl. No, I, I, I kid you not. This woman looks like she's absolutely tied to the streets. Look at some of these clips I've seen online of how she's talking and how she's moving. This is not somebody that I would want to represent me. I'm not going to lie. I don't want this person representing me. I don't want them anywhere near my case. Zero, zero, zero. But look at this lady. Look at this lady. Just, just, just look. Just look at this. You know, there is nothing better than when you walk out of the gas station and somebody be like, are you Nicole? And you know, real shit, the world I live in, I don't even be one to claim myself sometimes. But then when he's like, you might not remember because it was a long time ago, but you got me out of jail, that makes you feel good. <laughs> Why is she talking like that? She's got a little essentials hoodies on. She's got her fucking, you know, her dime, her, <laughs> her bust down watch. She's got her fucking Colombian teeth done. Why is she talking like that? Like, why? Why is she speaking like that? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on what is with the code switching what's happening here it's absolutely flipping crazy it honestly is crazy but this other clip probably is the one that probably would have made me really worried if i was fucked i'm not gonna lie this clip here would have made me super super worried and i'm shocked no one in his team was a little bit more on point in terms of maybe vetting the people that are representing him because this woman's an absolute menace right so this is a clip of her i don't know where somebody grabbed this but i just seen this on twitter just now and it features her basically trying to give advice to ladies and letting them know hey here's how you hold your you know hold your nigga down if he goes <laughs> if he if your street nigga down if he goes to prison listen to this woman's advice right she's like the female fucking kevin um samuels it's absolutely crazy listen listen to this woman this is this is young fuck's lawyer by the way He's cooked. If you're messing with a man that's in the street, then you need to understand the position you play. If you're sitting there and you're getting nice dinners, you're getting some shoes, you might be getting a purse, then when shit gets fucked up, you're down too. You might have a minor setback, but you're going to have a major comeback. Another thing is, you don't need to be sitting there asking who he's talking to and whether or not he's cheating. He's not cheating, and frankly, you don't need to ask him what he's doing anyway because you already know he's not doing shit and said you need to be googling some shit to talk to him about so that he can get his mind off his situation another thing is you don't need to get all in your feelings and lose your self-esteem and you don't want to be confident you think he might be one the bonnet the I, I don't know what to say i don't know what to say i don't know what to say i do not know what to say but if you've seen the video and you can't if you just listen to the audio the video is like her sitting down in this crazy bonnet and it looks like she's got some fake tan on to make herself look a little bit more, I don't know, Hispanic. I don't know sure what's going on here. And I'm just aghast. I don't know what's happening. I really don't know what's happening. But prayers to everybody involved in that case, especially for Fug. It's not looking good for him. I swear to God it isn't. It wasn't looking good for him anyway. If you watch enough of those YouTube documentaries, you would have seen, you know, some of them are a bit sensationalist. And they kind of blow things out, you know, out of proportion. But from the evidence available... It's looking likely that he's going to do some time. It's just about how long they're going to give him. But considering everything that's been happening, considering all the delays, you know, the, 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 you know, the accusations of witness tampering, of witness intimidation, evidence tampering, um, corruption, you know, I think there was a, there was an episode, I think in the beginning of the case, wasn't there? Like somebody in the actual courtroom allegedly passing people drugs and shit. That, that girl that got caught trying to smuggle people drugs when they first got locked up. Like there's been nonstop flipping criminality associated with this case from the moment they got flipping brought to court. Or, you know, the, the, the moment it got brought to trial, there's been nonstop criminality. It hasn't stopped. That's the funny thing about it. It hasn't fucking stopped. Young Fugs obviously looked a little bit more chunky. He's got the flipping jumpers on. He looks like a good Christian boy now in church. But the criminality around these guys hasn't stopped one bit, even though they're on fucking trial. That's how you know there's some real goons. That's how you know Fug and YSL are some real life goons because the criminality didn't stop. They're on trial. They're facing flipping double digit numbers in terms of prison centers. People died. Allegedly, the murder rate in Atlanta was spiked when they were on the streets warring with flipping YFN, Lucy's crew, and everybody else in Atlanta at the time. These guys are some real steppers. 
And you'd imagine with all the evidence available with the with their flipping tendency to post everything on social media and talk about stuff on songs, they just relax a little bit. They're sickle, right? They chill out a little bit, right? They take it easy. Nah, the criminality hasn't stopped. So now that all this stuff has happening, the more and more I think about it, the more I don't blame flipping Ghana for, for flipping squealing and running away. I don't like it personally because I'm somebody who thinks you know, if you're involved in a life of crime and you go down, I think one of the worst things you can do, one of the most cowardly things you can do is to kind of snitch on your co-defendants, really. Especially if you willingly, you know, get yourself involved in a life of crime. You kind of sign up for that life, um, for better or worse. And you can't then start running away once a, once a good times come, you know, come knocking. Suddenly you start pointing your fingers and suddenly you want to change your life and give your life to fucking Christ or whatever it may be. I think that stuff is deplorable. But in some cases, I kind of understand because some people are just like beyond saving. Like some people just want to be gangsters until the actual end. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, God damn it, man. Like, you know what I mean? Gunner's out here. He, need, he probably lost, like, what, 60 pounds plus. He's looking amazing. He's dressing himself and flipping Rick Owens and shit. Having a good time with his new white friends. If you've seen some of the videos that Gunner's been posting online, it seems like he doesn't really have any black friends anymore. <laughs> He's hanging around with a completely new different cr a new crew. I can't understand it when people do this sort of stuff because Jesus Christ, man, these guys are making it really hard to get out. They're making it really flipping hard to get out. But hey, what can you do? What can you do?